There we are. Oh, man, we're hitting the one behind it, which isn't great. Jesus, they scream like the devil. There we go. Oh, this is the sweet spot again. We're back in it, baby. We're ready to fucking go. Oh, shit, I'm afraid to use power attacks because they do change your positioning, don't they? Look at this. Oh, this is genius. This is genius. <gasps> oh, fuck, it's not genius. <laughs>
There we go. Ugh. Oh, shit. Yeah, we can't... We can't really make use of the power attacks, can we? We just have to go in real quick. Oh, man. Man, this thing is taking a lot of hits. Good thing it's it's pretty easy to sort of get it up in here, huh? Jesus Christ, let's quick save again. Oh, man. Ugh. I hope there's not, like, a shitload of these. Because, man, they're... They're pretty meaty. They're pretty beefy. They're beefed up big time. All right. Yeah, get them, Scampy. These ghosts have been eating some stews. I remember it was supposed to be, like, a whole crew in here, but hopefully this is just, like, the captain. Or was she the captain? I can't fucking recall. Whew! It's got me. There we go. Ugh, yeah. Oh, get another Scampy. Good thing we got all these potions stockpiled. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad, because we could just kind of, like, stand here. I don't think... Yeah, Scampy can't hurt it at all with his melee, can he? Ah! Oh, God! Jesus, what a cheating bastard! What a cheating fucking bastard. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's get another one of those. Uh, let's see. Weak potion of sorcery. There we go, yep. Yada, yada, yada. There we go, Scampy. Come on, come on, man, hit him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we have to be super careful and be sure to always get right up into the corner, because apparently this dude can, like, straight up peek around corners and blast my damn ass all the way across the damn ship. Ugh, there we go. Scampy, get him! Get him, get him, get him! You getting him? You getting him? There you go, okay. Woo! Woo! There! Ah, yeah! Ugh, God, I forgot they vomited out. A uh, fine steel cutlass. Oh, okay. Very well. All right, we'll equip that. We will equip that. Why the hell not, huh? Look at that. Five damage? Sure. Why the hell not? See, I wonder if it actually hurts these other ones. Oh, look, it's got a nice little pirate thing on it. Perfect for us for being a pirate. Now, we will get some uh, better cutlasses later on, I believe. All right, let's see. What the hell else is going on around here? Oh, jeez. Let's see. Anything else up in here? Some radishes. Good stuff here. Let's actually rest up for uh, an hour. Get healed up. Good. All right. What's this wine? Oh, it's mead. Okay. Some corn on a cob. Some potatoes. Oh, shit. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, man. The cutlass looks so cool, doesn't it? Shit, I can't get up. How do I get up? Oh, uh, there we go. Whew. All right. I need to drop this fucking plate. Before I forget, scroll down here and shift click, boom. All right, let's see. Grab some cheese, grab some bread, or corn cob. Man, the blood is pretty fresh looking. I wonder how long it takes for uh, if someone was slain for them to become a ghost. I wonder how that works. Can we actually physics these? No, okay. That's fine. On Morrowind, a sack of gold. Let's see, should we just take this? I mean, you know, maybe we could... We already have a copy, I think, but it's a stolen one. Maybe we can just take that and set it up in our house. Ah, some calipers. Stone pitcher? Oh, the dead captain, yeah. Alright. Oh, hey, what does a, what kind of clothes does a captain wear? Let's take a look here. Maybe we want to mimic this person. I mean, I, I'm really not a big fan of sandals, it's got to be said. Uh, coarse linen shirt, you know what? Maybe we'll take it. I think we already have some leather pants, though. Some of our kinky pants. Let's see. Two keys. I don't know why one of those keys is necessary. Can you actually get in here without having the quest? I don't know. Look, a very hard lock. Oh, a base amulet of absorption. Spell absorption, 14 points. Oh, man, all right. And a hundo gold. Man, all right, good, good shit. Let's see, let's pop this sucker on. Oh, my gosh. Excellent, I feel amazing. All right. Tongs. Oh, man, there's actually some decent enough shit in here. All right. Let's quick save. Did we check out all these? Nope, we did not. Some tongs in there. And a torch. Okay, let's quick save again and head down a level. Alright. Serpent's Wake, mid deck. Hopefully, there's not a shitload of very difficult ghosts down here. Let's see. There's at least one. Oh, it's coming out to say hello! Get him, Scampy! Oh shit, they're coming around from behind. Ooh, I don't want to be down there. Like fucking hell, I do. Should I. Oh, man, maybe I should have gone down there and tried to practice attacking them. Who the fuck knows? Are they going to come up when Scampy is dead? I don't know. Scampy should be dead by now. Scampy, what's up? Oh, fuck. Well, good news is that this does do damage. All right. 
Uh, let's see. Let's get another scampy out. Oh, here they come. Here they fucking come. Let's see. If we go out here, will the guards come to my aid? Will the guards come and fight them? To me, guards! Save me! Oh, you've returned. I do hope you have good news. No, I don't. I don't. There's actually a lot of pissed off ghosts down there. It's fucking nuts. Oh no, maybe you want to call some guards here too? This seems pretty bad, pretty dangerous. Alright, no you don't? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, we're just gonna rest up for an hour, heal up. I wonder if the mobs heal up when we do that. Like if we've somehow managed to break combat like we've done just now? I don't know. Oh! 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 Good God! There we go. Alright. Jesus Christ, this is gonna take a while with these. Alright, let's see. Maybe we can get something good going on here. Oh my god, this one has like a magical spell. Shit me. Yeah, let's go, dude. Let's fucking jam. Let's just jam out a bit. Ugh. Fortunately, I can really see it uh, broadcasting its its attacks, telegraphing them. All right, Scampy, do your shit. Ugh. Man, these these dudes don't fuck around. They've got so much health. Fortunately, I think it's, like, too big to fit in here, so it can really only hit me with magic, which, you know, honestly, is great for me. Oh, sh Shazbot. Let's get Scampy out there with it. Look at this. This is genius. Look, all I have to do is just attack this damn fool. Look, he can't fucking reach me. Oh, this is great. This is great. This is great. And I think it's out of Magicka, too. Here, let's, uh, scarf down some, uh... Uh, fatigue potions, huh? Do we have any? Let's see. Magicka, strength, uh, fire, health. Uh, what was that? Fire shield, dispel, magicka, absorb, magicka, health, health, uh, fatigue. There we go. Do we have any others? Let's see. Health, health, uh, nope. That was it. All right, that's fine. We need to remember to repair up this weapon, though. Here, let's quick save in case it does some more fucking baby back bullshit. Let's get another scampy out there. Scampy, do your fucking shit! Shove about 50 more fireballs right up its asshole! Get that fucker cooking, baby! <clears throat> oh, we're burning down the whole ship! Woo! Man, look at this damn fool. He's, he's like too big to fit through, isn't he? Because of his stupid wingspan bullshit. He's like, I'm a scary ghost! Look at my scary arms all up in your fucking face! Fucking stupid ass ghost can't even fit in here. I wonder if it's more DPS for me to do power attacks. Probably not as safe, it's gotta be said. Oh, oh fuck! Yeah, like I said, not nearly as safe. <laughs> Look at the naked man looking at us as we're dead. Oh, the naked captain. Oh, captain, my captain. All right, let's just keep smashing away at this fucking ghost. Good God. All right, yep, man. The worst part of this is that it just takes forever. <laughs> Man, hey, on the on the bright side, we're probably gonna be pretty good as far as levels are concerned, huh? Good God, man. Let's get another scampy out. Just keep layering that DPS, huh? That's it. Yep, there we go. Just gonna keep smashing and smacking. Smashing and smacking. I'm a smash smacker. Whew! Yeah, I'm not gonna... Oh, jeez. I'm not gonna risk any of this uh, heavy attack bullshit. That's far too dangerous. Oh, look, Scampy has fallen. There we go. Get another Scampy out in the back. Good lord. Too bad Scampy's melee doesn't do jack shit. There we go. Man. <laughs> so, how, how, how are things go how, how are things going for you? You having a good time? <laughs> Fucking stupid-ass ghost. Good god. And look, our sword is very nearly completely broken to hell. That ain't great. We may have to swap to a, uh, a shorter reach weapon. Huh. Here we go. Let's see. What's uh, the durability at? 41? Eh, that ain't too bad. Oh, shit. We're still attacking. Here, let's swap to uh, the Cutlass, huh? Let's try our luck. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's... The length on it is nowhere... Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> fuck me. We can't do our secret maneuver. Maybe we can. Man. It does attack pretty damn quick, though. Jeez. All right. We really fucked up by forgetting to repair. Ah, oh, jeez. Whoa! Oh, what kind of a maneuver is this? Yeah, fuck him up, Scampy. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah! Give him the fire! Hit him with the hot stuff! Jeez, Scampy, come on, I can't really even get in any attacks now. Oh, good. God. Alright. 
Uh, should we pop another? Nah, there we go. Scampy, ahoy! Go, baby! Yeah, flame him! Flame him up! Flame him up! Flame him up! Nope, nope, that's not what you want to do. Just, <laughs> come on, use your wizard's magic. Fart out some fire, there you go. Oh, shit. What did you do to Scampy, you sick fuck? What are you doing to Scampy? Are you trying to charm him and beguile him? You fucked up fucking pirate wizard god. All right, let's scarf down another uh, sorcery potion. That way we can keep the scamps flowing. Boom. Yo! All right, look, this, uh, this short weapon, it ain't working out for us. We're gonna go back to the long one. At the very least, we can do some damage, even if it's like super reduced because of the durability. Oh, fuck. I believe the durability only goes down when you hit, right? It doesn't actually uh, do anything if you, like, land a blow on the environment, right? So it's no, uh, it's no big deal for missing shots. At least I think that's how it works, huh? Oh, man. Jesus, it never shuts the fuck up. Ugh, there we go. Too bad our skeleton doesn't have, like, a silver weapon. Because then it would stay out for way longer. Ugh, there we go. Almost. Almost got you, you sick bastard. Let's quick save and get another Scampy out. Oh shit, Scampy's on the wrong side. All right, Scampy, just come on, do something, dude. Throw some fire, throw some shit. Did it heal up? Oh no, that was Scampy, okay. Oh, my good God. All right, let's definitely repair up first things first. Oh wait, hey, hang on, I have it bound to my, yeah, there we go, nice. Oh, excellent. Oh shit, we're actually almost out of juice. Better hold off. That way we don't have to, like, do a uh, equipment run. Yoink. I'll be taking that shit. Ectoplasm. All right, let's sleep up for an hour. Look, we can actually rest in a bed here next to our good old dead naked friend. <laughs> good lord. All right. Let's see. Do we actually have, like, a better thing that we could summon out right now? No. We really don't, do we? All right. We're just gonna do this the old face in a hamburger way. Let's head on down here. Pull one dude up and get ready to fucking jam. Oh, he's right here. He's right fucking here. <laughs> oh, are you coming up? Are you coming up? No? No. Okay. Whoop. How about now? No? All right. Yeah, come on. Come get me. Whoa. I don't want your magic. I don't want your magic, dude. Jesus. Look, he can actually fit through that doorway. What is that spell? What's it doing to poor- oh, Ow! Fuck! Oh shit, let's check what the spell does. I'm very curious. Let's see, what's happening to Scampy right now? Let's see, fortify... Silence! Oh, okay. I mean, we can take that, no problem. It's the, uh, it's the iciness that's really problematic. Are we hitting it or Scampy? I guess we're about to find out. Oh! God! Alright, somehow we need to pull this one up. This one doesn't like to come up at all. All right, two hits, come on. Two hits, McGee. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No? All right. Woo! Anything? No. Jesus Christ! All right, I'm going inside this room. Look, we're gonna do it from in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, what a hacker! What a wall-hacking asshole! Look, now we've become the shirtless man on the bed. Oh, man. All right, let's head on down and pull out a scampy again. There we go. Oh, oh, shit. Let's see. Does this thing really just not want to come up here? I mean, jeez. Let's see. Here, maybe we can find another area that this will be good to do at. Who the hell knows? Shit, look at Scampy taking big-ass hits. Oh, fuck. All right, one more hit and we're kind of toast, aren't we? Whew, jeez, I thought that one was about to go through. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> fuck. All right, let's try it again. Let's see. We need to get this dude up, up top. To our secret fighting area, huh? Actually, you know what? Maybe we don't need to. Maybe we don't fucking need to. Ah! Ah, Jesus! Here, we're gonna try and pull him back, and then pull him around the other direction. Ah, oh, God. Don't you shoot me yet! Whoa! All right, is it coming? Is it coming? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, now our secret trap can be lame. <laughs> Let's quick save now that we've done that. There we go. Oh, yes, our secret trap. Whoop! Oh, my gosh, this is so good. 
This is good. This is good. Killing ghosts, busting ghosts. Oh my god, I'm gonna really bust something all over this ghost, you know what I'm saying? Shit, Scampy, you can help out too. Damn. Get that ghostly vomit, that ecto, that spectral spew. Mm. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck me. Alright, shit, at least we quick saved when we got this magical shit going on. Alright, we got cocky, we were talking about spectral spews and all sorts of dumb shit. Look, we just need to take this, uh, like it's a real ass challenge because, hey, it is. Shouldn't play around with these spooky ghost dudes. Because guess what? They have uh, a left hand and it's ready, primed with a chilling slap. One hell of a damn freeze, frost freeze. There we go. Oh man, we can't even tell its health, but you know what? Hey, it's gonna die when it dies. That's just how these things work, right? Too bad Scampy is so fucking useless back there. Jesus, Scampy. But look at us, we're able to just lay into it right now a shitload. Which is pretty damn great. Look, it might actually- Yep, there we go. Scampy, you fucked it up a bit. Or maybe that was me. I just got lucky with a stagger. That's eventually what I want. I want, like, um, a weapon with a lot of, like, fortify agility or, like, drain agility or something. That way we can just non-stop stagger dudes. If we need to. If we're, like, forced into a combat situation. Oh my god, the stagger is gonna be out of this fucking world. There we go, Scampy. Oh, yeah. I mean, ideally we would have Scampy like constantly using ranged attacks rather than trying to melee like a damn idiot. But eh, he'll do it. Yeah, see, he'll do the occasional one. Yeah, we better quick save again just in case. There we go. Get another Scampy out there in the back. Woo! Here we go. It may be. This may be a good sign that hey, maybe it's time for us to consider going back to our friends to check out. You know. What kind of uh, enchantments, or what kind of conjurations they have that might be able to do damage here. I mean, you know, hey, we do unarmed damage to ghosts and stuff. You'd think that Scampy would be able to, especially since his unarmed damage is demonic. He has, like, demonic demon claws. But, uh, as it turns out, no. Scampy just is incapable of it. Jesus. And, and also likes to get in our way in a big fucking way. Good God. Like, I think right there, did we just hit Scampy? Okay, let's... Oh, shit! Oh! Through steady practice, you have discovered more creatures to summon from the plains of oblivion! You are now a journeyman conjuration and can cast journeyman level conjuration spells. Well, that's perfect! Perfect timing for what we were talking about. All right, Scampy, get in there! Yeah, smash him up big time! Probably doesn't help that try... Oh, look, it must have missed with the silence. Or Scampy is just very uh, resistant to illusions. Oh my god, Scampy cannot be fooled. Except for when he really can be. Like right now, he's being tricked into using melee. Here, let's see if we can't pop. Hmm. Do we have some sort of like things that's gonna do a shitload of damage, maybe? I mean, Flare isn't gonna do shit, is it? Eh! Alright. Let's, uh, let's scarf down a potion and get another Scampy out. Let's see, do we have any more of these low-tier potions? I don't think so. Let's see, do we have just like a basic potion of sorcery? Here. There we go. Had to be done. Let's get another Scampy out there in the rear. There you go. Alright. Here, we'll quick save again. Get Scampy, just being dumb as shit. There we go. Alright. Oh, sorry Scampy! Alright, we definitely know when we hit Scampy because he screams a terrible scream. Look, we can't hit him once more, or else he's gonna get mad as shit. Alright, sorry, Scampy. Here, I'll put you in the back again. Like, how you... I know you enjoy it back there. Doing it from the rear. Truly a rogue. Doing it from behind. You know how it is. You know how they do. Oh, man, look. Already our sword is being beat up. Is this, like, a super ghost? Is this one tougher than all the rest? I don't know. Maybe it's because we're just using these attacks? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. So I think I've I've uncovered the ancient secret, which is once it casts a spell, it has some sort of recovery time to where it won't like rapid chain cast two spells at once. So that gives us an, a chance to get in a power attack if we'd like, like this. See, oh uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna make you squeal like a ghost pig. Oh shit! All right, another scampy. Whoa! Man, this really takes me back to the days of going through the panther mouth. Oh, fuck. What did we get hit with? Oh, fuck. It's going to drain my ass apart. Oh, good God. We have to drink. <laughs> we gotta heal. Oh, good God. This ain't good. Dispel. Can we dispel it? Oh, dear God. 
Let's drink some more health pots. Oh shit, we did not dispel it at fucking all. Here, potion of warmth. That'll have to do for now. I ain't dying to this fucking guy! Oh my god! Am I about to die to this fucking guy? Here, can we actually do that in Scampy? No, okay. I was thinking maybe Scampy would go inside, but no, he just appears inside here. Ah! Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> uh, there we go. A spectral sailor. Oh, yeah, that was a different one, isn't it? Makes sense why it took so much longer. Let's see, was it a different weapon? Nope, fine, still cutlass. Okay. Good lord. We're getting all sorts of dumb shit, aren't we? Alright. Let's see here. Repair hammer. Maybe we should run back and... Hmm, I wonder how many more of these ghosts there are. If there's a lot of them, you know what? Fuck all this noise. We're going back. Uh, if there's too many of them, if there's like a shitload of them, we're gonna go back to our base and just fast travel on back here and just smash up a whole bunch of ghosts with our enchanted weapons. Alright, let's see. Let's, uh, let's like do some reconnoitering, huh? Let's do a little bit of reconnoitering. Alright, let's see. Azura and the Box. Ooh, that'll be a fun read. Alright, I don't think we've read that one before either. Let's see. Any other ghosts up in here? I don't hear any, and they're like ghostly whales. Oh, no, nothing in here. Okay, what's that on the floor? Oh, it's just a crack in the rug. All right, or a tear in the rug, I suppose. And they fit a lot of stuff in here in the uh, mid part of the ship. A whole lot of rooms to and stuff to hang out and live. Pretty dope, pretty dope. I'm down with the dopeness. All right, let's head down and, and scope out just how many fuckers are down there in the uh, cargo hold. Definitely gotta be at least one. It's probably a one. Oh shit! One, two. All right, there are two of them. All right, fantastic. Let's Ow. quick load here. Ow, fuck! All right, we're going to go back and pick up some of our big ass weapons. Cause guess what? I ain't having this bullshit. These fucking dudes are powerful. They got a lot of fucking health. Good God! All right. Let's see. I haven't done it yet, Var Varule. I'm heading back to base, and I'm gonna come back with my ghost-busting weapons. Let's see. Where's our base? Here it is. Go back to the waterfront shack, have one hell of a damn good time, and just smash up a shitload of ghosts, throwing around fire, throwing around frost, throwing around whatever the hell else we got. Who the hell knows? I'm ready to fucking jam, though. Let's see. How's our levels looking? Eh, not too bad. Alright, let's see. We could actually probably, uh... Stash our Warhammer in favor of one of these, huh? Or maybe just in favor of fucking all of them? I don't know, maybe. Hmm. Let's see, you know what? I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna stash all of our freaking weapons. Here. Let's put all of them in there, including our fine steel cutlasses. There we go. And guess what we're gonna whip out? Fucking all these bit bad boys. These big bad boys. Fire, shock, frost, hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Stir storm, earth, and wind, heed my call. It's time to kick this ghost in its fucking balls. Let's see. Where is Anvil? Over here. Heading on back. There we go. Ba-boom. Now this is probably gonna be bad news bears for us, because hey, if we have to fight more ghosts and bust them, oh man, it ain't gonna be a good look for us. Because guess what? We're gonna be out of charges on all of our good shit. But hey, you know what? At the end of the day, maybe that's exactly the kind of price that we need to pay to get this quest complete and help out old what's her butt with her oh, fantastic red robe. Oh! No, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Sorry. All right, but don't worry. Ghost busting buccaneer Lyle Schnub is on the fucking case, baby. And I'm here to jam with my fiery battle axe of hellfire. Hell yeah. Let's see. Serpent's Wake cargo hold. Knock, knock, motherfucker! I'm here to jam! Boom! Come up and face me, you foul bastards! Ah! Oh shit, don't face me yet! Ooh. Ooh. Alright, let's quick save here. Oh shit, alright, here we go. Oh, good. Maybe they'll damage each other as well. Wouldn't that be fucking great? Oh, that would be so fucking great, honestly. That would be so fucking great. God, we're actually hitting Scampy with our charges, which is not great at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> what's going on here? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what's going on. All right, Scampy, if you if you want to do something, you know, do it. Just just hit him up big time. All right, there's no big time hitting. All right, let's quick save again. Oh, shit. They're really trying to mess me up here big time with uh, all this weird shit that they've got going on. Woo! <clears throat> Ow, fuck. For fuck's sake. Man, that shit really hurts. That's going to just freeze me to death. 
Oh, it's gonna freeze my poor little pee pee off. Oh! oh, okay, there we go. We're fine, we're fine. Get Scampy out there. Shit, he doesn't want to go out there. There's just too many damn ghosts in the fucking way. Oh, Shazbot! Scampy! You're gonna kill me! Here, maybe if we're on this side, they can't hit us because, you know, they're left handed. Or, right? With their magic, so maybe it'll just collide. But, but also, we can't hit them. Look at this. They're fucking invincible. Oh, there we go. Woo! Oh, that's good. Oh, this is good! <laughs> oh, we're out of charge. Okay, next weapon! Babuya! Look! I'm ready to bust your ass apart! There we go! Oh, this is the sweet spot! Ooh, and it is the sweetest of sugars! Oh my gosh! Never in all my fucking years have I tasted a, a sugar so sweet as being able to smash a ghost's ass! Oh yeah, there we go! Scampy, give him the good shit! Oh shit! Are they gonna give me some good shit? Look, they are hitting each other! Look at these fucking idiots! These fucking jokers! There you go! Take some of that lightning! Ugh. Very, very fr- Ow! Fuck! Alright. <laughs> Fuck me. Look, we're gonna take a potion here. Uh, just, you know, so we have some uh, insurance here. That way we can't get poked once or twice. And uh, die instantly. There we go! Oh, fuck. Huh. Look at that though, They're, they are actually hitting each other. That's great! Ah, get another scampy out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, keep hitting each other with your dots. Oh, I love that shit. Oh, man. Sorry, Scampy. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. Let's see if we... Can we... Hmm. There we are. Oh, man, we're hitting the one behind it, which isn't great. Jesus, they scream like the devil. There we go. Oh, this is the sweet spot again. We're back in it, baby. We're ready to fucking go. Oh shit, I'm afraid to use power attacks because they do change your positioning, don't they? Look at this. Oh, this is genius. This is genius. Oh, fuck, it's not genius. <laughs> fuck me. Oh, the naked man watching and taunting. All right. Let's go again. Oh, here we go. Woo! Woo! One is almost dead. Oh, God. Let's get another Scampy up in there. Oh, shit. Scampy. Good God. Come on, Scampy. What are you doing, man? Sometimes I'm not sure if you're worth the, tr the trouble in this fight. Oh, God. Look at him go. <laughs> he doesn't know what the fuck to do. He's just fucking befuddled. Two ghosts, boss! I never before fought two fucking ghosts at once! <laughs> he just despawns. He got so fucking scared. All right. Poor Scampy. God, I feel a little bad now. But, uh, nonetheless, I'm just gonna summon another one and make him do my fucking bidding. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Scampy! Give him the old one-two! Yeah! No? Just hit him with the fire! Yeah, too bad we can't silence his fists. Man, what's going on? He's despawning real fast. That ain't great. Oh, look. The friendly fire again. Always good. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. We're out of charges again. Oh, that's not good. All right. Uh, Claymore of Frost. Oh, shit, it's completely dry. <gasps> oh, no, that means we've only got shitty weapons now because we stashed our powerful shit. Oh, man. All right. They they may have bested us. <laughs> the ghost may have bested us. All right. There we go. Get in there, Scampy. Come on, dude. You know what to do. All right, let's see. Do we have any fantastic scrolls? Do we have, like, a scroll that can make them turn on each other? Let's see. Ooh, we have a flare. Let's flare the crap out of them. Boom, Scampy, check it out, dude. I'm doing it too. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Frost shell, damage health on touch. Let's fucking do it, man. We need to expend these scrolls anyway. Ugh! There we go. What else do we have? Consume health. Ooh, that's a good one. Heal us up too. There we go. Scampy, you know. Come on, come on, come on. Smack him around, smack him around. Boom! Oh, Shazbot. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God, they don't seem to be wanting to friendly fire each other right now. That fucking all. Whew! All right, you know what? Hey, we need to swap to the sword because it's got longer range. All right. Ugh! There we go. Oh, there we go. The friendly fire is popping off big time. Great. All right, what do we have here? We, we need to use some more scrolls, don't we? Let's see. Absorb strength, chameleon, commanding touch. I We could try and fear them, but I don't think that's going to work on these dudes. 
I feel like they're too high level. Let's see. Repulse Undead. That might work. Riverwalk. Shock damage. Ooh, let's do that. Let's do that. Ugh! There you go. Man, leveled up my athletics, too. The fire, the lightning was so good. All right. A snowball? Okay, look, we're just gonna run through all of our supplies here. There we go. Ooh, it resisted it. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, so they must be resisting the shit out of each other's attacks. I see. That's why the, their friendly fire isn't that effective. I think I understand what's going on here now. Oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, fuck! <sighs> Jesus. All right, let's get another Scampy. Good lord, I really liked it when we had Scampies going in behind enemy lines. But, uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, fuck. All right. There we go. Scampy, can you go in there? No? Shit. All right. Jesus Christ, Scampy, what are you even doing, man? <laughs> what are you even doing, man? Oh my god, look at him go! Oh god! What is all this? Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh, shit. All right, get another Scampy up in there in the rear. Oh, excellent. Oh, that's the that's the sweet spot there, Scampy. There we go. Oh, shit. Who keeps closing the door? It's Scampy, isn't it? There we go. Oh, this is this is gonna be it. We're gonna finally get him. Finito. Oh god. Ugh. Get another one in there. Oh shit. Well, hey, our conjuration went up again. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, man. These fucking guys suck. All right. Oh, Get him, Scampy! Come on, man! Do some shit! Do some work! Oh, look. That one's silenced. It's silenced, at least. Look, did ah. we sl- Oh, no! We slayed it, but we got slain as well! Oh, shit! It doesn't have a fucking head! Oh, that's scary as shit! But you know what that means? It means it's time to kick some fucking ass. Ah, yeah, let's jam, dude, you headless piece of shit. Oh, you don't even have a head. There's no glory in fighting you, you foul butthead. Oh, oh, fuck. Jesus, every time I go in to try and get Scampy in there, it doesn't turn out well. I just need to play it safe with getting Scampy in right now. Because they are too compacted in there like a big old stinky shit. I hope we're hitting the one on the right, because I think the one on the right is the, the weakest. Oh, God. Scampy! There you go. Yep, get him. Anything you want to do there, Scampy, just, you know, go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit, they haven't silenced each other. It's good when they silence each other. It's good shit. It's bad when they silence Scampy, because, you know, his, his main method of uh, doing damage here... He's actually, uh, his magic. There we go. Getting in some more light hits. Uh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Let's quick save again. For fuck's sake. Man, this is truly the Oblivion max difficulty experience, isn't it? <laughs> fuck's sake. Alright. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Fighting ghosts, fighting ghosts. What you gonna do? Na, 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 na. There's a naked man on the bed. Good God. Scampy, come on. Oh, shit. We got it. All right. Perfect time. <gasps> Look at that. Ugh. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case we need the extra damage. All right. Let's see. Scampy, whenever you want to go, I'm going to try and summon you now behind enemy lines. There you go. Whoop. Didn't work. Didn't work out. Got scared. Got scared of its left hook. Look at this guy. Oh, shit. Sorry, Scampy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Oh, God. This is a tough one, isn't it? Oh, shit. Alright, we're safe here. Yeah, let's just lay into it. Laying into him. Hopefully he's almost dead. There we go. Oh, my God, look at this. We're pro-gaming right now. Holy shit. Call me up, Cloud9. Call me up, uh, Invictus. Wait, is Invictus still around? Good lord. Insidious? I don't know. Who, who were all those uh, pro-WoW raiding guilds back in the day? Good lord. A lot of them uh, abandoned ships, so to speak. Didn't they? I think
think so. Never really paid much attention to all that. Eh? All esports thing. Eh, I don't know. Take it or leave it. Ugh, there we go. Yeah. Good shit. I don't know. Some esports is fun. Oh, fuck. Our fucking weapon just broke as hell. All right. Well, shit. My god. <laughs> okay. Let's see. That's uh, that's just one we're never going to use again. Okay. Fair enough. All right, let's, uh, let's get this sucker out. Let's see, how much damage does this do? Nine! Nine damage! That ain't half bad. All right. We're gonna have to go in, though. It's gonna be a little bit deadlier, huh? Get Scampy out. Come on, Scampy. Do some shit. Do some good shit. This is the last one. This is the last guy, Scampy. Come on, this is all, all you gotta do. After this, we're just gonna go get fucking Baskin Robbins ice cream. Oh my gosh. Get the good shit. What's your favorite, Scampy? You like, uh, Rocky Road? You like just playing vanilla, the classics? Some Neapolitan, just leave the strawberry. I like the strawberry, Scampy. You can you can save me the strawberry, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I like a little bit of strawberry. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> fuck me. All right, too much ice cream, as it turns out. Oh, there we go. Oh, Scampy is behind enemy lines. Excellent. If only they would turn around to face Scampy. That would be pretty good, right? Instead of trying to, like, <laughs> blast my fucking dumb ass. Good God, man. Jeez, Pete! Let's see, can we actually hit this fool? Look, we can still hit him in the sweet spot. Come on, baby! Do the locomotion! Oh man, this is scary. This is actually pretty fucking scary. We're just a sliver of the way out of its reach. Let's quick save again, because this is just how things go fucking real wrong. Like there? Oh man, that's too risky. I should not power attack. Oh fuck. It's all come down to this. The final fucking showdown. Pirate Ghost versus living axe-wielding buccaneer in full steel armor. Who's gonna fucking win? I don't know. I'm gonna summon a scampy and cheat. There we go. Getting our skills leveled up to high hell. Oh my gosh. Probably coming up on time to train up real soon. Oh, there we go! Oh, yeah, give me that ghost spew. Oh, yeah, good shit. Yes, yes, yes! Taking your shit. Ugh. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Holy hell, I thought the nightmare would never end. <laughs> All right, well, that was, this has been a much longer quest than I anticipated it being. But you know what? Hey, I feel good about it. <laughs> I think. All right, my God, now we can finally look around here. A note. Go the end of the street. Turn left. Take the next right. If you see the house with the fallen roof, you've gone too far. Knock twice. Pause. Knock again. They'll let you in. Be sure to have the money. Oh, shit. We don't have a quest update, though. Huh. We'll have to do that. Is that here in uh, Anvil, I guess? I'd assume so. Look at this guy. Man, how did he die up here? What happened to him? I don't remember. It was some sort of, like, spell or disease that killed everybody? I can't remember. But either way, he jumped on top of the fucking table to die. Look, there's a book under his crotch. On Morrowind. Oh, okay. Here, we'll take this and we'll read it. Look, this one's also by Marabar Sewell. Yeah, this is just a, um, Ancient Tales of the Dwemer. These are all, like, a part, but it doesn't designate them. I guess that makes sense as well, because they're all, like, self-contained stories. Unlike some of the other ones that are, uh, Multi-part volumes, right? All right, let's check in here. Anything good? Nope, nope, nope. Some rice. We'll take that. There we go. Uh, some shears. No thanks. Fishing waders. Some meat. Three gold. Uh, burgundy linen shirt. Now we've already got one for our collection. Ugh, gosh, a bunch of fucked up blood all over the damn place. All right, what's in this? A knife. Tan bowl. Rice. Oh, we're taking the rice. There we go. Flour. Taking that. All right, and a chest full of tongs and two gold. Look at this. What were they shipping around? A whole bunch of cloth, I guess. Eh, fair enough, you know, people got wear shit. Can't have people going around naked. Well, you could, but, uh, you know, some people are just spoiled sports. What can I say? Some people, uh, they, they don't like seeing random folks running around naked. And you know what? Hey. Maybe that's a good point. <laughs> maybe there's uh, maybe there's there's uh, some, some wisdom in that. <laughs> All right. Let's take uh, this bread. Tomato. All right. Let's see. Anything else up in here? That has a patched vest. Do we have a patched vest? We're going to take that. 
That sounds like something that might be fun to wear. All right. What's in here? Ooh, a lockpick. We are in need of those. Oh, and a repair hammer. Also in need of that. Calipers. We already have a sh suspender shirt. Rice and corn. Let's see. Can we repair up some of our dumb shit? We really should. Here we go. Yeah. Should we get our armor or one of these, like... Eh, we'll just, we'll just repair through all this. There we go. All right. Let's actually equip one of the fine steel cutlasses. There we go. Hopefully, like, there isn't, like, some sort of, uh, you know, secret boss one down here that spawns in after we, like, loot the crystal ball. It's like, oh, I'm the secret fucking pissed off ghost hidden inside of the crystal ball. You really fucked up today, buccaneer. I'm ready to smash my ghost spew right into your mouth. Oh, I've retrieved Varile's crystal ball. I must now return it to her on the top deck of the serpent's wake. Okay, dope. Let's see. Taking the rice. What's in here? Calipers. Flour. Rice again. And nothing in there. Alright. Uh, dead crew member again. Serpent's Wake key, we'll just take that. You know. You know how it is in these games, just always collecting like shitloads of keys, huh? Alright. Uh, yarn, bowl, shears. A crate full of bullshit. Alright, what's in here? Doeskin shoes. We'll take the wolf pelt. It's worth something. Some quilted shoes. Hourglass. Ooh. Wheat grain. Wow, yeah, I think this is the first time we actually found wheat grain in uh, the Saxon side of uh, the ship, right? I think so. I thought it was some skooma, but no. Just a healing pot. A shirtless man. Did we make him a shirtless man, or was he just here a shirtless man? He must have just been here a shirtless man. Yeah. All right. A broom. Gold. All right. Oh, look. Oh, nice. Flawed ruby, flawed topaz. Holy shit, a little tiny bit of skooma. Oh my god. Is skooma usually this tiny? Wow, it's just like a little drop of it. Oh my gosh, a secret stash of skooma. Good. Alright. We don't really want that fur helmet. I'll... It's not really even worth selling, is it? Alright. Oh, we'll take all that. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Well, I think that's a full clear of this stupid pirate ship. Good lord, if you could even call it a pirate ship. It was just a crew, like a, a regular-ass crew. Okay, maybe we should take the pumpkins, though. Nah, fuck that. Okay, yep, let's head on out. Oh, good stuff. Alright, let's see. Here we go. And hopefully she uh, really likes this dumb shit. This stupid crystal ball. Good lord, too bad we couldn't just, you know, pick up another crystal ball and pretend like it was hers. I've never actually seen anybody use these crystal balls. Where, what, what the hell do, do they use them for? I don't know. Whatever happened to them, they, uh... I don't believe they existed in Morrowind unless there was, like, a rare one somewhere. And I don't believe they existed in, uh, Skyrim Land. What's up with all these crystal balls? Do wizards like them? Do they actually use them? Anyway, what's up, Varley? You've returned. I do hope you have good news. Yeah, your crew all came back as ghosts, and they were mad as hell. But, uh, I killed your entire crew again as ghosts. It was pretty tough. It took a long time. But, hopefully, you it's worth it. it. You actually made it back with a crystal ball. Oh, thank you. Here, please oh. take this as a oh. reward. It's the captain's enchanted cutlass. I managed to grab it when I was in his cabin before his spirit chased me out. Oh, thank you so very much. Okay. Man, too bad you couldn't take all of their weapons. Oh, shit, now I can't move. Wait! Don't send your ship off! I'm stuck here! Jeez! Oh god, look. The red weave is heavy as shit. Alright. Look at that. Drain health. 20 points for 6 seconds on strike. Good shit. Mmm. That is some good shit. Unfortunately, we don't have a reliable way to continually re-enchant it, do we? Alright. Oh man, look. It is red as hell. Damn, that looks dope. I can't wait until we have our own, like set of Master Forge cutlasses that we can super enchant and, you know, just have a good fucking time. Love how the, uh, like, sabers and cutlasses always look. Alright, let's see, what can we dump off here? Because we've got a lot of dumb shit. Let's see, I mean, I guess we could dump one of these... Oh, shit. Do we really want to? The Claymore of Frost? We've done it. We've fucking done it. The Claymore of Frost. Here, let's take it over here. That way we don't ever forget it. Oh, God. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm not dumping the Claymore Frost. Fuck that. I'm dumping a fine steel cutlass. 
So it's too nice. Wonderful to see you again. I don't know what I would have done without your help. Oh yeah, sure thing. Do you have anything oh, else to say? Oh, dear friend. Let me just say once more how happy I am to have my crystal ball back. I'll never forget your selflessness and bravery. Aw, oh, thanks. Okay, oh, that's it? All right. That's fine. All right, let's consult this note that we picked up, remember? Let's see if we can't find this uh, secret house. Here, note. Go the end of the street. Turn left, take the next right. If you see the house with the fallen roof, you've gone too far. All right. So what street? Is it this street out here by the docks? Let's look for our house with a fallen roof first. Maybe that should be our, our main sign of whether or not we've gone too far. Because at least we can we can sort of uh, triangulate where we need to go if we know the position of the, the actual street that has the house with the uh, fallen roof. I don't think I remember any houses with fallen roofs out here, though. Maybe we missed it. We didn't explore everywhere out here. In fact, you know what? I think that might be the end of the street right there. Is there a house with a fallen roof down there? I don't know. Let's head on over and take a quick peek. Let's see. It doesn't look like there's any fucking houses out here. There's like a uh, Stonehenge up there. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> what the hell is that? What? Hang on. We're going up to see Stonehenge. Hang on. <laughs> we have to investigate this. Look, you can't even get here. There's a bunch of rocks in the way. If you want to go up to see Stonehenge, you got to jump a bunch of rocks. But you know what? I really want to see Stonehenge. Let's see it. Let's embrace it for its... Uh, Maddening wonders. Holy crap. Are you excited about this? Oh, look. The entire town is, uh... Well, I don't know what the hell's going on there. Is this, uh... Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah, this is just a, a sort of, like, plain area right there. Beyond the wall. Look. Man, there's another Stonehenge right over there. Alright, what does this one do? Maybe this one will give us some, uh... Fantastic thing that'll give us, uh... I don't know. A fantastic ability to defeat... What do you call them? Marked by a special fate, you rule your destiny. Do you choose to steer by the stars of the lady? Yeah, I I'm, I like the lady. The stars of the lady shine upon you. You have gained the lady's greater, warding greater power. Oh, have I? What's it do? Watch it give us, like, um, resistance to magic. Oh, a lot of health and a lot of magicka. Okay. How long will we have this for? Until we pick a new stone or what? Maybe. Here, let's try out one of our cutlasses. Let's not use this super one, though. Because we don't have, like I said, we don't have a reliable way to get, uh... Shit back. So that ain't great. Not as much damage, but man, it's, it's way faster than what we're used to. Good stuff. Alright, yeah. I like it! Alright. Oh shit, there's another crab down here? Oh yeah, look at this. Crabulon City. Let's see, how are our levels looking? Ah, uh, they aren't too bad. They aren't too bad at all. We could probably stand to use more of our, um... Well, maybe we should conserve them. Yeah, let's conserve them. Let's just kill this crap. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good shit. We're just gonna let that crab roll down there, because... You know what? Hey, we've killed enough shit. I'm not ready to tango with a whole bunch more crabs down there. Oh, look. A Nern root. Let's get that. How many of those Nern roots did we need? Did we ever find that out? Should probably do that. We may have enough by now. I don't know. We've collected quite a few. All right. Let's see if we can't get in here without aggroing a bunch of fish from like 10 miles away. Oh, look. Another fucking Nern root. Oh, listen. Oh, weird. You can only just barely hear it sometimes. Especially when you jump. Weird. Okay. Huh. That's fine. Let's head on over to the main city area and look for this house that has a fucked up roof. Very curious. Oh, fuck. There's another Nern root. Wow. How many are out here? Are there any over there? Damn, dude. What a lucky day. Pickaxe. Did we check these before? I feel like we did. Oh, we must have not. And these are just the ones that you can freely take from. Alright. Can we take this? Hello, Vera? We can, but we got nothing from it. Alright. And we'll wrap this up by reading uh, Azura's Hoot Hoot Nanny. Or whatever the hell it was. Alright. Be on the lookout for a house with a roof that uh, has fallen in. 
What if it's not even in this town? What if it's not even in Cyrodiil? What if it's wherever they were previously? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Oh shit, yeah, there was like a, a building that was messed up over there, wasn't there? Over by that? That big sort of manor? Or am I mistaken? Maybe I'm thinking of a different town. Let's see. Let's see, is this it? Is this gonna be it over here? Right around the corner! No. Okay, well, I guess this isn't for this town, huh, is it? Weird. Alright, let's see. Do we need to heal up or anything our stats? Have we gotten messed up or anything by fighting ghosts? Have they, like, sapped our abilities to do bullshit? No. Alright, we're good to go. Great. Well, you know what? Hey, when next we come back, maybe we need to check out this, um... This bullshit with none other than the Nern Root. Maybe we need to do that. Yeah, and actually figure out how many we need, because we may have enough. I don't know, it may, it may be like 50 or 25 or something like that. We may have 25, I don't know. Nah, probably not. We found a fair few. We, we definitely have at least 10, right? Alright, yeah, next time, we're gonna find this person, figure out how many Nern Root we need. And then, we'll probably do the, like, Potato Snatcher thing, because I don't know if I want to do this quest to, uh, get the house, because we can't really fucking afford the house right now. So, eh. It is what it is. Anyway, let's check out this book from old Azura. Let's see. Or from uh, Maribar Sewell, I should say. Azura and the Box. Let's see. Azura and the Box, Ancient Tales of the Dwemer. Part 11 by Maribar Sewell. Uh, Nishalbar had enjoyed an adventurous youth, but had grown to be a very wise, very old Dwemer. Who spent his life searching for the truth and dispelling superstitions. He invented much and created many theorems and logic structures that bore his name. But much of the world still puzzled him, and nothing was a greater enigma to him than the nature of the Aedra and Daedra. Over the course of his research, he came to the conclusion that many of the gods were entirely fabricated by man and myrrh. Nothing, however, was a greater question to Nishalbur Nishalbar, than the limits of divine power. Were the greater beings the masters of the entire world? Or did the humbler creatures have the strength to forge their own destinies? As Nishalbar found himself nearing the end of his life, he felt he must understand this last basic truth. Among the sage's acquaintances was a holy Chimer priest named Athenic. When the priest was visiting Bethalag Zaturams, Nishalbar told him what he intended to do to find the nature of divine power. Athenic was terrified and pleaded with his friend not to break this great mystery, but Nishalbar was resolute. Finally, the priest agreed to assist out of love for his friend, though he feared the results of his blasphemy. Athenic, Athenic summoned Azura, after the usual rituals by which the priest declared his faith in her powers, and Azura agreed to do no harm to him. Nishalbar and a dozen of his students entered the summoning chamber, carrying with them a large box. As we see you in our land, Azura, you are the goddess of the dusk and dawn, and all the mysteries therein, said Nishalbar trying to appear as kindly and obsequious as he could be. It is said that your knowledge is absolute. So it is, smiled the Daedra. You would know, for example, what is in this wooden box, said Nishalbar. Azura turned to Athenic, her brow furrowed. The priest was quick to explain. Goddess, this Dwemer is a very wise and respected man. Believe me, please. The intention is not to mock your greatness, but to demonstrate it to this scientist and to the rest of, the, of his skeptical race. I have tried to explain your power to him, but his philosophy is such that he must see it demonstrated. If I am to, de if I am to demonstrate my might in a way to bring the Dwemer race to understanding, it might have been a more impressive feat uh, you would, it might, it might have been a more impressive feat you would have me do. 
growled Azura and turned to look Nishalbar in the eyes. There is a red-petaled flower in the box. Nishalbar did not smile or frown. He simply opened the box and revealed to all that it was empty. When the students turned to look to Azura, she was gone. Only Athenic had seen the goddess's expression before she vanished, and he could not speak. He was trembling so. A curse had fallen. He knew that truly. He knew that truly, but even crueler was the knowledge of divine power that had been demonstrated. Nishalbar also looked pale, uncertain on his feet, but his bliss but his face shone with not fear, but bliss. The smile of a Dwemer finding evidence for a truth only suspected. Two of his students supported him, and two more supported the priest as they left the chamber. I have studied very much over the years, performed countless experiments, taught myself a thousand languages, and yet the skill that has taught me the final truth is the one that I learned when I was but a poor young man trying only to have enough gold to eat, whispered the sage. As he was escorted up the stairs to his bed, a red flower petal fell from the sleeve of his voluminous robe. Nishalbar died that night, a portrait of peace that comes from contented knowledge. Oh, publisher's note. This is another tale whose origin is unmistakably Dwemer. Again, the words of some Almeris translations are quite different, but the essence of the story is the same. The Dunmer have a similar tale about Nishalbar, but in the Dunmer version, Azura recognizes the trick and refuses to answer the question. She slays the Dwemer present for their skepticism and curses the Dunmer for blasphemy. In the Almeris versions, Azura is tricked not by an empty box, but by a box containing a sphere, which somehow becomes a flat square. Of course, the Aldmeris versions, being a few steps closer to the original Dwemer, are much more difficult to understand. Perhaps this stage magic explanation was added by Gore Falim because of Falim's own experience with such tricks in his plays when a mage was not available. Maribar Sul left even the character of Nishalbar alone, and he represents many Dwemer virtues. His skepticism, while not clearly as absolute as in the Almeris version, is celebrated, even though it brings a curse upon the Dwemer and the unnamed house of the poor priest. Whatever the true nature of the gods, and how right or wrong the Dwemer were about them, this tale might explain why the dwarves vanished from the face of Tamriel. Though Nishalbar and his kind may not have intended to mock the Aedra and Daedra, their skepticism certainly offended the Divine Orders. Huh. Alright. You know, I almost feel like that it was a, a book that we had already read. I don't remember it being on the, uh, the old spreadsheet, but then again, this one I didn't check ahead of time. The title seemed a little... Eh, I don't know. I don't know. If, if we've already read that one before, I apologize, but apparently... If we had read it in Morrowind, maybe there were some differences. Uh, if you, if the uh, publisher's notes anything to go by. Huh. Interesting. I, like I said before, I wonder if there's any differences in some of these books between games. That would be very, uh, like, you know, not just like small grammatical corrections or shortening out certain parts, but like massive changes that change like the entire tone or direction of a book, right? Because uh, grammatical ones are ones where they like cut something out or whatever like that. That's, uh, that, take it or leave it. I, I'm, I'm, that's not too big of a deal, in my opinion, for me at least. Uh, but more fascinating would be, like, big sweeping changes that change uh, the whole meaning of the book, right? Anyway, when next we come back, we're going to go check out this Nurn Root situation. Maybe we'll go get the potato snatchers, figure out some weird shit about these jumbo potatoes. And, uh, I'll probably have gone to stash some stuff back at the base and gotten back out our old equipment. Because, holy crap... We have ran dry all of these fantastic enchanted weapons that we've accumulated. We really need to get on top of getting some more of that shit going. And also, you know what? Hey, maybe I'll stop by at one of the mages' guilds 
and uh, sell off some bullshit and see if there's a new summon that we can pick up now that we've advanced our summoning skill. Our conjuration skill, I should say. Oh, great. <laughs> Till next time, peace! Peace!